What's up, Marina? This is Abhilash Thakur. Welcome back to Sailor's Guide. Well, today I have a topic for you that is how to calculate the compass error. Let's get started. All right, guys. So to calculate the compass error, you need to take the bearing from the gyro, and we don't take the bearing from the magnetic compass because it is on the Monkey Island, and we don't go there to take the bearing. We take the bearing from the gyro compass, and after calculating the gyro error, we can calculate the magnetic compass. I will show you how to do. Okay, guys. You will keep one this paper ready so that when you take the bearing, you have to immediately take this latitude longitude at that time, the UTC time. Gyro bearing, magnetic bearing, gyro ship heading, and magnetic ship heading. We can write down this right now only. So we will go here. You can see this uh, gyro heading here, three zero three, and just above that there is a periscope, which shows the magnetic heading. I don't know if you can see that here inside because it's very small, but actually the heading is three zero five here. Okay. So we will write down this uh, gyro heading. Three zero three and three zero five magnetic. Here, one more thing we have to write down the variation. We will take this from the axis or chart, whatever you have on board. You can see there the variation line, six degrees west, and here is five degrees west. Okay, so you are in between these lines, so it means around five point five degrees west. So you write down here. 5.5 degrees west. Okay, so now we will go out and take the bearing of the sun. All right, guys. So this is known as the azimuth circle. By using this, you take the bearing of any object, a celestial or a terrestrial. So we will take out this one, okay, and then we will go outside on the bridge ring and take the bearing of the sun. There is a clip here, and you can just do like this, remove it, and we will go outside. As you can see here, there is one more repeater here, the gyro repeater. and we will use this repeater to take the bearing of the sun you see the sun is here okay so we will use this uh, so we gyro repeater and we will put on this azimuth circle on top of it the altitude of the sun is too much too high we cannot use this uh, glass here to take the bearing we cannot use because we cannot do like this you know so, th so there is one more way you can take the bearing of the sun you have to rotate this here You have to use this mirror on the other side, which you will find out. Now you can see this sun image on this glass. You have to align this with the, this thread, thread image. Okay, so you have to align this one. All right. So now you can see this is aligned with this uh, sun, as the vessel is also a little bit rolling, so it is going here and there. You can see this now. The bearing of the sun is one four eight or something. Okay. After that, you immediately go inside and take this uh, latitude, longitude from the GPS and UTC time. Okay, for accuracy, you have to take it as early as possible. So, 28 degrees, 44.4 minutes north, 138 degrees, 25 minutes east. Here, I have written down the position. You write down the UTC time, 0129. To Gyro bearing, we have taken 148 degrees. So, magnetic bearing, you can see here the difference is. Two degrees. Ship heading is two degrees more with the magnetic. So here also the bearing will be two degrees more, of course. So one four eight, it will be one five zero. All right, that's how we have to check. All right, guys. So now we have this nautical almanac. This is in electronic form, and here you can see that uh, it's on twelfth February, and we have to take. So the GH is one nine one twenty seven point five degrees. So we will write down that. Okay, we will also take the value of this declination. Also, you can see here the south, thirteen degrees fifty point four, for zero one hour. So south thirteen degree fifty point four. We will write down here. So we have to do this d correction also. We will see here the d value is zero point eight. So we will go here zero point eight. Now we have to go to the increment and uh, d table to find out the values of the increment for GHA and for the declination. So we will go at the end of this nautical almanac. As you can see here, it is twenty-nine minutes. So we will go for twenty-nine minutes. Here you go. For 29 minutes, it is for uh, Sol planet. This is for Sun. For 29 minutes, you can write down here the 7 degrees 15.0. So you will see here 7 degrees 
15.0 and the declination 0.8 you can see here the decorrection 0.8 is 0.4 so you will write down here 0.4 okay all right guys so now we have gathered the information of gha and declination here after that you have to find out the value of lha and the value of p so to find out the value of lha you have to write down the value of gha again that is we have calculated on top then you have to write the longitude of your position here we have the longitude east the longitude is 138 degrees 25 minutes okay you have to calculate the value of lha well the thumb rule for calculating the lha is if longitude east gha least if longitude west gha best it means if the longitude is east it means the gha will be lesser than the lha if the longitude is west it means the gha will be best it means the gha will be more here the longitude is east so it means the lha will be more than the gha that means lha best then gha least so you have to add these these values to get the value of lha okay because you know the longitude east gha least lha best so you have to add these values you will get this value 337 degrees 07.5 minutes now you have to calculate the value of p here well if the lha value is more than the 180 degrees then you have to subtract this value by 360 degrees you have to subtract you have to subtract the lha by 360 degrees to get the value of p so the p is 22 degrees 52.5 minutes because we have because we have subtracted 360 degree from the value of lha as this value is more than 180 degrees now we will move on to the value of the a and b and c well you know the formula of a that is tan lat by tan p tan lat tan latitude by tan p so you have to do it on the calculator by using the calculator you can find out this value very easily so you will have this value 1.299 now you have to name this a value so now you have to name this value north or south here the value is south because this value of a you have to put opposite of the latitude only when the lha is between 90 to 270 degrees then only the value of a will be same as latitude otherwise it will be always be opposite so here the latitude we have is north so the value of a will be south because lha is not between 90 to 270 degrees it is more than 270 degrees it means then you have to put the value of a opposite to the latitude so you have All right now we will move on to the value of b b is sine declination by tan p that is the formula for b after calculating by using the calculator you will find out the value of b in my case it is 0.567 okay now you have to name this also north or south so the naming of the b depends upon the declination as the value of the declination here is in south so the value of b also south because because you have to name the b always as same as declination so if the declination is north you have to put the value of b in north if the declination is south you have to put the value of b in south so you can see here i have put the value in south because declination is south here now you have to find out the value of c the so c formula is a plus minus b so how you will figure out that you have to add these values or subtract these values a simple way is here that the formula is a plus minus b plus represents if the value of a and b having the same name that is south south then you have to add this if the value of a and b is different it means the names are different so let's say there some one is north and one is south then you have to subtract the value of a and b to get the value of c but here you can see the a and b have the same name that is south so you have to add these values you have to add a plus b so you will get this value 1.2 Eight six six. After that, you have to find out the value of azimuth. Well, the formula for azimuth is tan azimuth is equal to one by c into coslet. That is what we have calculated here. The value of c and the value of latitude we already have. So we will put all these value and we will calculate the value of azimuth. Okay. The answer you will get for the azimuth that you will have the quadrature value. It means it is donating in which quadrant you are. So it is showing thirty one point four degrees. You already know that the sun actual bearing was one four eight degrees. That means the sun was south east so you can see here that if the bearing is 31.4 degrees the azimuth is 31.4 degrees it is from south to east it means from south that is 180 degrees to towards the east it is about 31.4 degrees so this angle will be 31.4 degrees so now you have to convert this to 3 degree notation it means you have to calculate this bearing from the north obviously because it is 3 degree notation so you have to calculate this angle so this is a true azimuth which you have calculated now you have to compare this true azimuth with your gyro bearing as you know your true azimuth is 48 dec 148.6 degrees here and gyro bearing is 148 degrees it means the difference is 0.6 degrees so the difference is 0.6 degrees you have to name the gyro error also either low or high as you know the gyro bearing is lesser than the true azimuth then it means the gyro error is low if the gyro error is more than the true azimuth then you have to name the gyro error high 
but in this case 148 degrees is lesser than the 148 decimal 6 degrees then you have to name this gyro error low okay after that you have to compare the magnetic bearing also which is our main agenda well we know that the magnetic bearing is 150 degrees we already seen that and the error will be 1.4 degrees because the difference between magnetic bearing and the true azimuth is 1.4 degrees but you have to name this error either east or west well here is one more thumb rule here simple that error east compass least error west compass best well, as you already know compass means magnetic compass here the magnetic bearing is best it means it is more than the true azimuth then the error west compass best so compass is best so error will be west if in case the magnetic bearing will be lesser than the true azimuth it means the compass is least then error will be east but in my case error is west because compass is best because it is more than the true azimuth okay you already know the variation value from the chart or from the agdis that is 5.5 degrees west now you have to calculate the where now you have to calculate the deviation of the compass that is the last step now how you will calculate this as you know the error is variation plus deviation okay but it also depends upon the name of it so now how you will calculate the deviation i will show you here you have to draw this line which i have drawn up here but i will explain you again here this is the line you will put east here and west put one more in the center that is zero now you have to write down the error 1.4 degrees west that is about here it means towards the west that is about 1.4 degrees the variation value you will also write that is 5.5 degrees this is also west so it means it will be more than here so it will be around here 5.5 degrees now you will put here e and this is v because this is variation this is error now you have to move from variation to the error you have to get from here to here you will put this direction it means you are moving towards the east you are moving towards the east direction so the deviation will be east that is the naming now how much you have to move to meet the value of 1.4 degrees you have to obviously subtract this 5.5 minus 1.4 then you will get the deviation value that is 4.1 degrees okay that's how you calculate this you have to mark the error and the variation on this line then you have to go from variation to the error in whichever direction you are going you have to put that direction in case in this case you are going towards the east because you have to meet this value so you have to put this east and how much you are going that is the value of your deviation you have gone 4.1 degrees all right guys so that's how you calculate the compass error on board also after calculating this compass error you need to log down in the compass error log book all right guys so that's it for the video if you like this video please press the like button also subscribe my channel please press the notification bell press all notifications so that you don't miss out the videos which are coming up next also you can put down the questions regarding merchant navy in the comment section below i will try to answer it there or i will try to make a video on it all right guys so that's it for the video this is avilash tagore signing off